it's nothing that I can do to actually bring neither one of the kids back, but just try to keep fighting for justice. Tonight, the mother of a murdered teenager reflecting after a major development today in her son's case. The Orange County Sheriff's Office announcing the arrest of a 17-year-old in the murder of Devin Clark, who was 18 years old and from neighboring Alamance County in Lyric Wood. She was 14 years old and from Orange County. And just moments ago, we learned this 17-year-old was arrested this afternoon out of state. We still don't know where exactly the suspect's name nor this person's connection to the victims. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil and I'm Natalie Wilson. It's been 17 days since men riding four wheelers found the bodies of the two teens inside a utility easement along a rural road in Orange County, not far from the Alamance County line. Both had been shot to death. Fox 8's Daryl Matthews is live in the studio after speaking with Tiffany Concepcion, Devin Clark's mother and Daryl. Tiffany says everything just hit her all at once today and now she's holding on to a positive memory of her son. What is that? She really is, Natalie. She tells me her lasting memory of Devin would be a funny conversation over text about a puppy she gave him. They named Oreo. She says after hearing that investigators have a suspect, she's thankful they are moving one step closer to justice for the two teens. So I wasn't expecting it, but I, I got a little bit of pain off my chest. After searching for two weeks, investigators now have a prime suspect detained in the murders of two high school teenagers. 18-year-old Devin Clark, wide receiver on the varsity football team for Eastern Alamance High School, and 14-year-old Lyric Woods, a ninth grade student at Cedar Ridge High School in Hillsborough in Orange County. You know, they got to do what they got to do until they can release anything. That's cool. As long as he's in custody. I, I can wait for the name and all, but like I said, I'm still going to keep fighting justice for the rest of this case. Orange County deputies shared Wednesday that they detained a juvenile whose name cannot be released because of their age. This comes after the agency announced it had taken out a juvenile detainer for a 17-year-old a few days after the murders. Devin's mother, Tiffany Concepcion, is still fighting to find out why the two teens were killed. What was the reason? Like, that's all I want to know. Why did these two innocent kids life had to be taken at that time. Last month, Clark was identified by Orange County Sheriff's Office as one of the victims. Investigators say he and Woods were found just off the power line easement in Western Orange County. I would never thought that our child would be not here with me today. While the official cause of the death is still being determined by the state medical examiner, this mother says she's wasting no time in pushing for answers despite her pain. You know, I laugh and I giggle and I smile, you know, is life, you know, but at the end of the day, it's still my child, Devin Clark, you know, I still got to, I remember him always. So at nighttime, it hurts when I'm laying there thinking about it. Two separate families with connections spread through two counties in the eastern part of the Piedmont, still grieving over the loss of their children, but determined to get the justice they deserve. They was friends together, they died together. So at the end of the day, why I'm going to fight justice for both of them. Concepcion is thanking the community, family and friends for standing by her family and for the outpouring of love. She's planning a march for Devin and Lyric in the coming days with more details coming soon. We're live in the studio, Daryl Matthews, Fox 8 News.